Darwin's three-day lockdown has ended after the Northern Territory recorded another day of no new cases. Catherine residents will have to stay home for another day after a single case was recorded on Sunday. From this to this, Darwin's 72-hour lockdown came to an end after no cases were recorded for a third straight day. The lockdown for the Darwin, Palmerston and Darwin rural areas will end at noon today as scheduled. But Catherine residents will have to wait at least another day. I'm sorry you have to do this for another 24 hours. This is the recommendation of our health experts. We need Catherine to hang tight for another day. The lockdown was triggered after an American man tested positive to the Delta strain on Sunday night. He'd spent two weeks in hotel quarantine in Sydney before flying to Darwin via Canberra last Thursday. he then driven to Catherine to work at Tyndall Air Base. His visit to Catherine Woolworths prompting fears the virus could spread to surrounding Indigenous communities. When I heard it involved Catherine Woolies, I mean, I'm talking to a room of Territorians, that that's arguably the busiest Woolworths in Australia. Where the man contracted the virus remains a mystery. It's feared he may have been infected at Sydney or Canberra Airport. We are declaring Sydney Airport and Canberra Airport as hotspot areas for the purposes of travel to the Northern Territory from 5pm today. That means if you transit through these airports from this time, you have been in a hotspot. The man has refused to say if he was vaccinated. The government is winning support for its plan to ban unvaccinated visitors. 30% of our population in the territory is Indigenous. If this virus finds its way into Indigenous communities, it's going to be a massacre. As restrictions ease, the government's being asked why a single case saw much of the top end shut down for three days. But the Chief Minister is making no apologies. Tragically, we can see in New South Wales what happens if you don't go hard and early. Some restrictions will remain in place for the next week. Masks must be worn in public and at work. Hospitality patrons must be seated. Gyms and markets will remain closed. And 10 visitors only will be allowed at private homes. The lockdown led to the suspension of the Darwin Festival. It will resume but with some challenging restrictions. The COVID uh, safety supervisors will actually be advising people that they won't be um, shouting or singing. But otherwise, Darwin residents have plenty of reasons to cheer. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.